guys you're welcome to my channel my we are asked to find z like this angle here what is the value when nothing is given to us like there is no number here let me come out so that you see it there is no figure here nothing and we are asked to find the value of z how do you go about it okay follow me let's do this together first of all we are looking for z right the first thing we need to notice is that angle if you draw this tri particular triangle this is a triangle right this <clears throat> this is a triangle x z and y okay this is a triangle and the sum of angle in a triangle will give us 180 right so that brings us to first thing we need to write here and here which says that the first thing we need to write is that this is our solution solution the first thing we need to write is that z plus x plus y is equal to 180 degrees what is our reason angle in a triangle some of angle in a triangle will give us 180 degrees okay we have gotten that number one we are looking for the value of z this is giving to us this pq and sr this arrow shows that both of them are parallel to each other what does parallel means it means that no matter how far you draw them they can never come together okay they can never cross each other they will keep going apart from each other so if you are giving this type of thing part two parallel lines i normally tell you people that there are two, uh, several angles that are formed when a transverse crosses a parallel line because if i should extrapolate this this parallel line will keep going like this and there is a transverse here this line I'm seeing here is a transverse. This line also is a transverse. Okay, let me show you what I mean. If you have two parallel lines like this, just like we have here, and you have a transverse, just like you have this line, okay? There are several angles that are formed. Number one of them is, or maybe I should just talk about the one that we are going to encounter here. So let me talk about alternate angle that is formed when two parallel lines are, are crossed by a transverse. Now, when you talk of a, an alternate angle, you are going to form a Z in your mind. A Z like this. When you form a Z, see what I did? The angles you have at the tip of your Z is your alternate angles. The angles you have as the tip of your z are alternate angles and they are equal that means if we have here to be 20 degrees here is also 20 degrees are you getting me okay now let's use this thing that i just explained here to relate it to what we have here okay first of all when you have this type of thing drop another parallel line that's what i tell my students drop another parallel line to cross it at this point okay so this line too is parallel if it's parallel like this you notice that this your transverse will be very easy to get now looking at this now you're going to see that two z are formed you are going to see this one like this like this and like this that is the first one so here is our x it means that you know that from here to here is our z right but it means that by the time we form this z like this see the z we form like this this place is x it means that the upper part of this place is also x that means we have here to be x are you getting me see the z we formed like this so it means that this upper part is also x so we have established that here is x now look at me again and see another z that is formed that is going to show us that we are forming another alternate angle so we are going to have this like this one two three so we are going to have this now this particular place is here right and this is y this is y that means this place as well is y because our z is also formed there so what is it showing us? It means that this X plus this Y will give us this Z. Everything here is Z. So it means that this X plus this Y will give us this Z. Okay? So let's go ahead and write that. Now, the second equation we found is that X plus Y is equal to what? 
ah z okay if you have followed me to this level to this stage it means that you are actually enjoying what i'm doing so i think it's time for you to hit that subscription button okay please subscribe if you have not done so and also hit your and uh, touch your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video all right okay now we have formed this if we should substitute substitute let's call this equation one okay and call this equation two then substitute um z equal to x plus y into equation one substitute z that is this z equal to x plus y into equation one what does that mean it means that in this equation one anyway i see z i'm going to put x plus y okay so i'll now write x plus y which is this z here plus x plus y x plus y is equal to 180 degrees okay now x plus y plus x plus y if we should collect like terms collect like terms we are going to have that x plus x will give us what 2x plus y plus y will give us 2y is equal to 180 degrees okay now 2x plus 2y if we factorize out these two we are going to have two brackets x plus y is equal to 180 degrees now how do we get our x plus y we divide both sides by two right if we divide both sides by two we are going to these two we cancel these two two divide itself one divide 180 you are going to have 90 degrees so we now have that x plus y is equal to 90 degrees now let me shock you we have that what x plus y is equal to 90 degrees right now notice that our x plus y is equal to z so what is it telling us it's just telling us that therefore this means that our z is equal to 90 degrees and that is your answer do have a lovely day and bye